The GIs at Cameron Bay call it the meat market. It's open seven days a week from nine in the morning till eleven at night. The girls for sale all live in a village behind that wall. The wall was built a few months ago to keep the GIs out of the village and to keep most of the villagers off the base. But there's still a perfectly legal way for the Americans to pick up Vietnamese girls. This is how it works. A GI gets a letter of authorization from his commanding officer. He picks his mate, who is then searched for drugs and contraband. The GI and the girl then surrender their ID cards to the MPs, and the girl is given a pass to wear on base until she returns to the village. On the average day, 300 girls are checked out in this way. On payday, it can go up to 500. Are you waiting for someone in particular? Yes. Uh, just one of the girls. How long have you known her? Uh, about five minutes. Why'd you come down today? <laughs> Something to do. The commanding officers realize there's a serious VD problem at Cameron and that the guest system, as it's called, probably contributes to it. But they argue that no one has ever been able to prevent boys and girls from getting together and that by doing things this way, they retain a certain measure of control. The MPs, for example, know exactly which girls are on base at which time with which escorts. They also know approximately where they are because they're only allowed at the beach, the clubs, the mess halls, and the snack bar. The girls are strictly forbidden from entering the barracks, and they must be back at the checkpoint by curfew at 11 p.m. The command, of course, is sensitive to security. Many GIs are more sensitive to the kind of human relations the system imposes upon them and the way it degrades the girls, many of whom they consider not prostitutes, but friends. It's nice to have a female to talk to. You get tired of talking to a GI all the time. But you don't pay your girlfriend any money? No comment on that. You don't... I don't pay them directly. You know, I'll take them out, buy them food, or buy them an umbrella or a purse or something. But as far as the direct money exchange goes, I can't see that. You know. Some some GIs do it, and uh, it's the girls living. I mean, this is their living right here, being a boyfriend to a GI. The ranking officers at Cameron don't view the meat market as a particularly wholesome affair, but they say, consider the alternatives. Let the GIs into the village and forfeit all control over security and drugs. Discontinue the so-called guest system altogether and make morale worse than it already is. Of course, the VD problem could be controlled by giving the girls regular medical checkups, but that would put the army in the position of supervising prostitution, and American public opinion might not be quite ready for that.